Hi everyone, Vortex TCG here, and today I thought I'd showcase a gameplay video from my local recent trip to locals, which uh, is the final locals of BT14 before we get into EX5, and it's going to be me playing Digipolice slash D Brigade, and my opponent is going to be playing the Fenry Lugamon strategy. So, if you're looking forward to this video, please do like and subscribe to the channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, getting into the swing of this game, my opponent uh, promotes, gets to put the EG underneath, and then gets to do some searching with the training card, then goes to the Fangmon, which allows him to uh, put stuff back, but unfortunately doesn't have anything in trash. Oh, she does, he has the Fenry Lugamon that he trashed earlier, and then goes into the Hell Lugamon when swinging. So he dies, and then he's able to draw two, return the Luger, and then delete the Nume Mon from uh, my side of the field. So, uh, good response from my opponents, but it doesn't pass the turn back uh, to him. So, essentially, in this situation, uh, yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, he basically gets to reset. So I go into the high command room because this hand, I don't know how it happens. You play 16 rookies and you can't find a single one. I don't know how it happens, but it happens. Um, so he goes into the mental training, gets to add one and then return one back to the t uh, bottom of the deck. And then he's gonna pretty much going to be setting up. He's got a really good setup as is, as you can see from having two mental and now having another EG, which now I'm at three. So I don't gain the memory, unfortunately, from the Satsuke, but hey, you take what you can get. I play a command run out here from the cargo drum on which is quite nice because it's the on deletion one which means it will survive some additional checks if he decides to go into the Fenrir uh, to pos potentially pop it up so end of a turn I get to play up to uh, seven cost of total for Digimon I get to play uh, <laughs> two of the new BT14 command drum which allows me to search and at this point my opponent's like you won't put it to the top of the deck and then I did. <laughs> so uh, the top cards are actually pretty good in this case. So I decide to add the decoy, uh, the decoy commander one here. And in my version, uh, I'll showcase uh, the list at a future t uh, date. But uh, my list plays a lot of these decoy guys. I actually play four in the deck because I think it is so useful, again, especially against decks like this that have like a big deletion effect. Just having decoy for that is important for me, so it works out pretty well. But my opponent's going to be able to go into a massive swing turn now, going into the Lugar and then solo Lugar, which allows him to play something else back, which is the Fangmon. Fangmon effect. Uh, well, he gains the two memory back, then he gets to add the Hell Lugabon and then gets to trash a card. In this case, he decides to trash the Fenrir Lugabon straight away, going into it for one memory, get to play a bunch of guys out potentially. Oh, actually, no, I don't think he's able to because unfortunately he doesn't have anything in his trash. So, this is one of the awkward things about Fenrir Lugabon at the moment. If you don't have enough discard, uh, you kind of. <laughs> find yourself struggling a little bit but he decides to do the Fenry effect to uh, delete the level 3 here because he can't delete the uh, level 6 here because he doesn't have enough guys on the field to target the level 6 so at this point I'm just considering um, if I want to well not do anything really but I'm just checking here uh, here I should have been able to uh, use the Cargo Dramon Inheritable here, which allows me to reveal the top three and then play a Cargo Dramon here. So a bit of a misplay on my behalf. Probably would have helped speed this game up a little bit. But uh, yeah, I decide. Uh, I don't know why I didn't do that, unfortunately. Uh, but hopefully I'll do it now uh, in response to the Hell Lugamon uh, here, which allows me to prevent the deletion, which then allows me to delete... Uh, the other Commandramon, which allows me to do the on deletion effect. I'll do that one first. I'll play the Commandramon. I can play this one because it has a rule card in its text saying that it counts as a Commandramon. And then I'll use the Cargodramon effect, which allows me to play the Commandramon from the top. Allows me to search the top five cards again. And uh, yeah, I'll add the decoy guy and put the rest to the bottom. And now it is my turn at one memory. So uh, feeling pretty good to say the least going into this turn. Obviously, I don't have enough to win the game here. But I feel like at this point I have enough of a grip of the game because my opponent really can't be aggressive on the following turn. He hasn't got a rookie out in play, so he can't do anything about that. So I feel pretty good about that for sure. So here I'm being a little bit careful with what I do because if I, for example, swing into something that can be problematic for me, 
it could potentially be really bad for me. Like stuff like memory boosts might just enable him further. So I'm just trying to keep uh, my cards kind of like, like just keep them like not all not super aggressive. I could have swung with the brigade room on here, but I don't want to risk it essentially. So here I go into the brigade room on end of turn effect, which allows me to play the new Maimon and the command Ramon, which. Uh, then I can potentially play a Satsuki underneath, but unfortunately I don't have it, so I just play the Satsuki back underneath uh, into my Tamer slot. So, yeah, at this point I don't think my opponent can't really do that much. He's on two memory, three memory actually, because of the EG, which we forgot to do. So, yeah, he plays Fascomon, which is a blocker, but yeah, obviously I think this is just ropes for him, unfortunately. You know, I've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six swings, and he's only got two security, so... He needs a lot more blockers, but unfortunately he's not going to have it. So he goes Hell Luger to add the potential Luger back. Uh, he doesn't have one, but he gets to discard cards. But yeah, it's not great. It's not great. He's going to discard them. Pop, I think, potentially the Brigade. And I'm just going to stop it. I'm going to use his effect to play a guy out. I'll play a Commander one out. And then, uh, yeah, this game is pretty much done at this point, And I win game one. Going into game two now and my opponent gets to start off with a really good start with the mental training and the Lugamon in a raising. Pretty much just says like, you know, he's got the EG ready. Well, you'd assume you'd have it anyways, but uh, I actually get rookies this time, which is quite nice to say the least. Uh, get to go into the search commander mon, which feels very nice. Uh, get to add the decoy commander mon. Reason why I do this is because I just want to have the decoy just in case, just so I can have another way to prevent deletion a type effects so he goes to the Luger has the EG and gets another memory and then he plays another mental training which allows him to add one of those two cards as they are purple adds the EG in the end and then pretty much goes into the Drachmon to pass the turn reveal top three add the Lugar and then trash the Fasco and then passes the turn back to me I then get to draw I'm at free memory so feeling pretty good about that for sure uh, I swing at security, it's a 1k, so I get to reveal, get to play another deletion type card, which is nice, and uh, yeah, we keep getting the ball rolling here, it seems. So, I then go into the high command one here, which allows me to, you know, when attacking, play another guy. Uh, I play the decoy guy here, which is going to be very nice uh, it, if he goes into a deletion guy, hits the hell, and then uses its effect uh, of the command one to protect itself from deletion, and then I get to play out another one, which is another high command one, but seeing those two brigade ones there were not something that i want to see essentially so yeah i've got quite a lot of advantage from the protection effect from the command ramon the protection effect is crazy because if it's like if it would leave play if it goes to trash it would leave play so it's you know it's just it's just crazy so uh, he goes into uh, another eg here on the start of his turn so he's getting those egs out in play which is a bit worrying for me and he's also got two mental training so potentially I could end up going very negative here, to say the least. So, uh, I don't know what his line of play could be here. He could go to the Hell Luger to try and sort of deletion out, but he decides to go for this interesting play, which allows him to go into the Lugamon from the uh, Dracomon, puts the EG underneath, uses effects to swing into the High Commandermon, trash, and then gets to draw a card and then get a memory and he discards a Lugar which allows him to digivolve into it for the cost and then he also uh, when attacking with the Drakemon he also then gets to play out a guy so now he's got a lot of memory and he's swinging so pretty nice play here for, for sure he's swinging into the high command one I'm just wondering if I want to protect it at this point because I still can it's an all turns effect but I decide not to because I don't think like, he could easily swing into it with another Luger, and that's something I definitely don't want to see. So, he swings into security. I think he's using the effect to discard one, to uh, draw one, to gain a memory, and alliance. And he hits uh, Satsuki, but that's it. So, he decides to not digivolve into the guy you discard, which I thought was quite interesting at the time. But maybe he just doesn't have the target in hand, unfortunately. So, I think he kind of messed up here a little bit as well. I think he should have maybe discarded the... 
uh, what was the card called the black gato because we saw that he had it in hand so he can potentially do even more damage this turn but it seems that he was trying to get a lot of stacks going at the same time for pretty good value so uh yeah so now it is my turn and uh yeah i'm at one memory i think i think he's still trying to figure out actually what card he wants to delete because i think at this point no I'm, I'm thinking about the delay effect because i don't know if i want to be if i want the level four out or not because uh, yeah i don't want to be prevented by deletion essentially but okay, we're prevented being de deleted by the decoy so i swing into the high command draw through the fasco get to look at the top three and then i get to play out i think i'm going to play out the Commandramon here which you know gets me some more value and gets me gets rid of the fasco mon obviously now though i've got to be aware of the fact that i could potentially open myself up but i go for the dcd bomb here which allows me to return free and then delete the stack essentially so that i feel like keeps me in the game and pretty much wins me the game on the spot because now it's going to take him an additional turn for him to do anything uh, with this deck essentially so as long as he doesn't clear my entire field with like a death x for example i think i'm in the clear here so he's going to go into the lugamon he's got quite a lot of memory but he goes into the fangmon here gets to return one and then draw and then trash one he decides to add the fa uh, the hell lugamon again here which you know, can get rid of one guy, but is that going to be enough? We'll we'll see. We'll definitely see. But yeah, I think at this point, the situation is a bit dire for him. So it's just a case of now, can he potentially do more? But as he's at zero memory, I don't think he has more. If he has the death X, I'm sure he would have slammed it by now as well. So yeah, I think here, I was just telling him about something else that was unrelated to the game here. But yeah, I th I, that's what we're doing. But I think at this point, he understands that we, he's lost the game. So he goes to the Hell Luger for one, deletes, draws two, gets to add the Luger, and then deletes the Command Ramon. And then all I have to do is pretty much promote the following turn and then swing for game.